guys, it's me, Kiana from TTB Designs. And today I decided to show you guys what my craft room looks like. I actually cleaned it up today and I was like, this would be a perfect opportunity to show you guys what my craft room looks like. So let's get started. One thing I do love about my craft room is that it is upstairs in the bonus room. So also the kids are on this side of the bonus room and they get to play while I work. And I really like that feature to have them up here while I'm working. So I'm going to start off over here. Over here, it is my Sawgrass printer. This is the Sawgrass SG400. And on top of it, I have my, um, my inbox tray. And as you see, it's empty. So that means that all my orders from last week have been completed and shipped out. This area, I used to do all my weeding and all my prepping, but I actually realized I do not like sitting down doing those functions i like to stand up so i absolutely love this table i got it from michael's um the height is adjustable it has wheels on it so you can move it in and out the way and i absolutely love it this is where i weed at this is where i prep all my shirts at i absolutely love it this is my tripod that i have um attached to it this is when i'm recording my videos this is where i do that at I also love that it also has a um, a tray below it or a shelf below it. So it allows for you to store um, pretty much just more junk. <laughs> As you see, I have a clock over here. I made a clock that I'm actually thinking about doing a tutorial on as well. As you see, this is the clock that I transformed. I transformed this clock into that clock. Um, and then over here... I have some more miscellaneous crafting products. It's not necessarily organized, but you know, it's that organized, unorganized thing going on over here. So I have a laminator, a paper cutter, my cinch, um, random hats, um, shirts. I always have shirts around here, of course. Um, these are sublimated, um, sublimation shirts, polyester shirts, cotton shirts. Um, these were obviously this um, bucket right here was for my Christmas ornaments and then I have some more like miscellaneous things that's like a hair dryer and some uh, coils and this is some jewelry making supplies and then down there I have my easy press now if you come over here this is my clothing rack slash ring light stand that's my ring light. Can't find the stand to it. Won't buy another stand. Won't buy another ring light. So I just have my ring light hung on the edge of that clothing rack. And it's just Jimmy Red on there. And it works for me. Um, and this is just kind of like an overflow table um, that kind of like just catches extra pieces of paper and vinyl. This is my desk. Of course, this is where I do like all my administrative work. This is where I do all my designing, my planning, my content creation this is where i go i absolutely love this um u-shaped glass desk i purchased it from wayfair same thing for the chair super duper comfortable super sleek purchased it from wayfair um and then we're gonna go right here this is like the drinking say the drinkware station this is where i sublimate all my mugs as you see this is my mug press i purchased this from amazon and here goes some blank mugs um as you see those are some mugs that i've already sublimated um i do a lot of vinyl cold cups on these um a lot of vinyl decals on these starbucks cold cups and i absolutely love those these really don't have a place down here, but I swear by this VLR. If you don't have VLR, I highly recommend you always having that on deck because this has saved my life from so many jobs, messing up jobs and having to do my shirts all over again. This VLR has been a lifesaver. Now, this room is absolutely, you won't believe it. It's actually one of my favorite parts of this area because we converted this room from a closet into a room. So it initially was a closet and then we turned into a beauty room and then I turned into a craft room. I love the chandelier minus a lot of the light bulbs being out. 
but I absolutely love this room. This is where I do all my cutting at. Um, right here is my Inkjet Canon MX922. This is where I do all my inkjet printing. And these um, cabinets below, it's just miscellaneous things, once again, um, and some scrap vinyl. Um, I love these canvas photos of my babies. Here is the Silhouette Cameo 3. I'm waiting for the um, Cameo, the, the, yeah, the Cameo Pro. I believe it, comes, uh, it, it will cut up to 20 inches so i'm really excited about that and then when you come over here these are just some notebooks some more like shipping envelopes when i ship my um sublimation transfers um overflow basket um in this drawer right here is like all my paper goods we have laminating sheets glossy paper transfer sheets anything where i need paper is in here and this one is vinyl I know it looks like a mess, but trust me, I know what I have and what I don't have. And in this one below is some more vinyl and a lot of adhesive vinyl as well. And then on over here, just some decorative shelving um, over there. Q, my initial Kiana. And here is the big baby, the Epson WF7720. I converted this printer into a sublimation printer. As you see, I have the 13 by 19 paper in here already. I was doing some printing last night. So um, this is a printer that I absolutely love. It's a lot cheaper than the Sawgrass 800. Um, so I would definitely recommend considering converting an Epson um, if you're if you're concerned about the sublimation printers being too expensive. And this is my baby. I absolutely love this heat press. I don't know how I made it without it. This is a heat press from Heat Press Nation. It's a 16 by 20. It's an automatic release with a pullout drawer. And I absolutely love this thing. Over here, I have some more drawers. Um, this is just some shipping supplies, my scale, um, shipping labels. Here are also some um, size stickers, some poly mailers, and some more um, shipping envelopes. Um, I believe here is just miscellaneous, some ink and miscellaneous stuff. Um, here is transfer tape over here. Of course, scissors, lint rollers, um, my weeding tools, tweezers. And then over here, um, some more miscellaneous things. Glue sticks, I will start off doing hair bows. I have a lot of fabric and hair bow supplies. Um, and here is paint. Um, it's kind of where the kids go in. So this paint, glue, things for them. And this is uh, some more miscellaneous supplies for them as well. But overall, this is my craft room. I'm absolutely in love with it. I've, I'm very productive in it, especially when it's clean. So I'm super happy that it is clean and I am about to get to work. So please make sure you like and share and subscribe if you haven't already. Comment and let me know if you like my room. Now, this is not state of the art. Sometimes you just have to make it work for you and this room is functional and it works for me and my family and I love it. So until next time, I will see you soon. Bye.